So, Mark, first game of the season, two goals and a clean sheet. What are your thoughts on the game today? I think I've aged a lot. I think it's, it's uh, the first game of the season. It's relief, and I will disagree with any manager who tells you otherwise. It's our preseason has been great, but I think for any manager, it's horrible. I think you overthink things. You get you know massive. I, I generally, generally don't suffer with nerves. I don't think, and then all of a sudden, I get here today and. I didn't know what to do myself, but that's just, I think that's because I, I honestly believe this is the best side we've had and um, really tough decision to make with selection. We've had to leave players out, which is a horrible thing to do, but all we can do is have the reassurance that the result sort of indicates what we did from a team uh, selection perspective. It's a squad game. It's going to be that all season. I think, I mean, we know their staff really well and to be all credit to them, they said that they've been, you know, that much the better side and won the game and, and that's clear. I mean, we, we could have scored five. We've had two at point blank second half. We've had a 1v1 that we've missed first half. We've missed a penalty. And I think at 1-0, you're still always in the back of your mind. You're worried about the game could change on a mistake or a set play. And one of the most pleasing aspects of the game for me was how good we were when we did have little spells under, under the cosh and we just dealt with them ever so well, ever so professionally. We were brave when we needed to be brave, but we've created so many good chances today and that's the, the really positive thing. We've taken two of them, which is enough to get the job done. It's a clean sheet to start us off. We're off and running. It took us a while last season, but we've, we've hit the ground running, which for me is a, a vindication of, of the pre-season that I thought we'd had. Um, and I'm relieved. Uh, I am. I'm relieved. It gives us a start. We're off, off and running. We'll go to Radcliffe, who you know probably one of, if not our hardest away game all season. We'll come second game of the season, but we'll go there with, with our tails up, and we'll go and have a good go. We'll, we'll get lads to recover. I can pick the team that I think will be best served to beat Radcliffe, and that's the, the beauty of having that, that depth in our squad at the moment. So yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day, and we'll enjoy ourselves tonight, and we're off and running. Charlie Barnes was selected as the player in the match. How did his performance help the victory today? He's a, he's a top play. He's, he's a very good acquisition that we'd worked hard to get through really savvy recruitment. And he's been a pleasure to work with. He's, he's a great lad. He's a very front-footed defender. And I think he complements, because he's pacey, I mean, he's got you know everything you would want in, a, in an either-side centre-half because he, he can get up and win his headers when he needs to. He's got pace. He, he reads the game really well. He's got some quality as well in terms of, of retaining us the ball. And I thought whilst the game was really frantic and really edgy first half, wasn't it? Until we got the breakthrough and we just settled a little bit. I thought the game was edgy, but it's the first game of the season. It's going to be. And we have to accept that. And the, and the trick is that you limit your mistakes. You do the ugly side of the game well to make sure you're still in the game. And then you allow your quality to come through. And that's what we did. And whilst all that was happening, Charlie and Teague especially, in fact, back three, I mean, Teague's won every header, every single one, Andrew Teague's won today. And it was just a throwback of everything that I know he is and everything that he's been in his career. And he's fit and he's strong and he's enjoying his football. And, and you know, I could have given it to any of them back. I could give it to, to a load of players out there today. I mean, Jake's off the mark. What a super finish. He's such quick feet, super finish. And we just needed that little bit of quality just to spark the game to life. And then we started ever so well second half. We've had the point blank one. We've had the it's a great save from, from Cam, to be fair. We've had the um, the penalty, which we obviously have missed, which is rare for us. Um, but the penalty comes because we're front foot and we're sharper on the box. And, you know, I'm really pleased with that. And, and finally, uh, young Lewis, what a good debut for him. He, he's made one, well, two world-class saves. The one that he tips over the bar. It's probably, and they're the two chances that Stafford had. And he was he was level to them. He was better than them. I mean, the second one's offside anyway, but he still had to make a reaction save, which is top class. So, please for everyone at the club, we've had a long, hard slog of pre-season. But it's all worth it for a clean sheet, three points on the board, and we can all go and enjoy our night before we, we recover properly and we start the prep work straight away for, for a game on Tuesday night. How does today's performance affect team selection for Radcliffe? Well, one of the things I said to the players in pre-season was one of the mistakes I think I made last year, and you've got to be reflective on your, on your job and what you do. And one of the mistakes I think is when we were successful, I often almost automatically picked the same team. And I think it, it, we came unstuck because of it last year. Whether that's fatigue or whether that's complacency and 
what we will do this year, what I will do this year, is make sure that through all the analysis and the research that we do, through the information that we've got, I'll pick the team that I think is best served for that game. Yes, it's a really tough call to take somebody out of that team after you've won and, and I know the adage about not changing a winning side, especially Saturday to Saturday, it's a little bit more, a little bit more comfortable changing a winning, uh, not changing a winning side. But I think when you go to a Tuesday, you can change that. I've already got a couple of things in mind. We know I've got a good indication of how Radcliffe will play. We'll get the game that they've played today against against Rylands. I think they won really strongly against Warrington Rylands today. So we know they're going to be, you know, they are one of the two favourites for this league. What I know is that our team performs against those sides. And our team has things that a lot of teams don't have. And I'm not saying that, you know, the favourites for the league haven't got this, but we've got a dressing room that has things that others don't. And that gets us through games at times. So, be a tough game. They are well resourced, managed by two managers who know how to win this league and know how to win football matches. So, we've got to be at our best then. I'll spend some time. I'm not going to think about it tonight because I'm going to enjoy this one because you've got to enjoy them. I'm going to enjoy winning a football match today, but from the minute we're up tomorrow, it's everything about getting a positive result against Radcliffe. Congratulations on the win, Mark, and thank you for your thank time. Thank you. Cheers now.